Welcome aboard Free Dive with Seapoint Digital, your go-to podcast for deep dives into the world of digital marketing. I'm Christy. And I'm Anna Lynn. Your hosts navigating through the currents of growth, strategy, and innovation in the digital realm. We're going to talk. We're going to laugh. It's going to be a good time. Let's dive in. Welcome back to another episode of Free Dive Podcast. I'm Christy. I'm Anna Lynn. We're so happy you're here. We're happy to be here, aren't we? We are. Feeling a little extra today. Today, Anna Lynn had the very good idea of wearing our fur. <laughs> our faux fur. This might be real because <laughs> I bought it in a vintage shop well, and pretty sure it's real. <laughs> I'm, Don't come after me, please. I, no fake blood. Mine is a 100p fake. I was either going to bury it or wear it. Uh, I see. You know? Yeah. And yeah. I'm cold all the time. Yeah. So it's, you know, women's winter. That's in right. In the basement That is exactly here. what it is. So yeah. I thought, I'm not going to bury it just yet. I'm going to use it for my old bones. Women's winter came upon us quickly. Yeah, I don't like it. We went straight from winter when it's freezing down here till to women's winter and it's like is my life winter now? <laughs> like when did that happen? That's what it this is. is the winter of my life. We have to always be prepared to be freezing right. down here. So I So rest. we're in fur. Yeah. And it just felt like that kind of day. Yeah. What she didn't prepare me was that she was also going to wear full velvet. I am. And yeah. uh, pleather, is also, pleather as well. Also vintage. Yeah, I'm kind of a hot mess today. I am mostly but. black with you today, though. I know, I love sneakers, it. But I'm yeah. having an influence. <laughs> we are. Okay, here's what everyone should know. We are very quickly adopting each other's influences. And... Uh, <laughs> great i think it's for the better i do too you know we're just we're making our way onto the boys yeah <laughs> what's that <laughs> i soon tim will have tinsel in his hair oh okay i wasn't sure what you meant by that at first <laughs> tim will have tinsel in his hair bill will come in with glitter nails <laughs> oh he's gonna be in fur mm. yes he oh. was eyeing this when he came down I earlier sure that. i feel like maybe mm. i should Watch out and make sure this is with me at all times because I feel like he might steal it. Yeah. For his one PM call. Yeah. I feel like I feel like sometimes everyone's like, wow, the girls are being super extra. I too wish I could be super extra. It's good peer pressure. It is. Really? I listen, I don't know why people don't take advantage of coming into the office just dressing up for the occasion i may i mm -hmm. may take advantage of dress for the occasion kind of gal mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i don't understand people who are very square and don't get excited for the dress up well i'm glad that we have a company culture where we can like just wear what makes us happy yeah and i mean within reason within nobody's reason. coming in in clown suits or you i know. would if i wanted to <laughs> You would, actually. But you don't have to sit in on client meetings. Like True. I'm not going to sit in with our, you know, major insurance clients and yeah. be like, crazy. Yeah. This is probably much, but I just keep, I feel like I could get by with it. I, that's what I'm saying. You know? I, I go up to the, I go as far, the, the, close the bath, as I can. The bathroom in the business park with pride in whatever <laughs> crazy outfit I'm wearing. And I'm just like turning heads and don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, Wear what makes you happy. Yeah. So, so anyway, that's what we're doing today. Anyway, that's what yeah. we're doing today. Thank we you. had to preface this because, yeah. you know, this is a little different than how we've dressed in the past. Maybe our so. viewers, maybe our viewers will also start adopting our lifestyle. Hey, we're join here us. to help. Yeah, join us on <laughs> join us on this happy lifestyle of fake nails and, and see how the <laughs> black, all black everything and glitter and <laughs> fake fur. Yeah. Or real fur. Or real. Whatever. You know. Yeah. It's a happier life, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So speaking of happy things. Yes. And happier marketing. Yes. We wanted to talk about humor in marketing yes. today. That's our topic today. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's like an old adage, you know, everybody talks about how, you know, sex sells in marketing yes. and advertising and 
boring, mm-hmm. boring. Mm-hmm. Give me something funny yeah. and intelligent. I will give you all my money. That's right. Like It's so true. Like I, marketing works on me. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it work on all of us it's to some tough. degree? Listen, you know? listen, everybody, okay. Anyone who follows our, our social media had the whole thing about me and my Celsius and, yes. and how, okay. It was, it was, <sighs> Okay, the whole can being it's all healthy for you and whatever, and it's partially a joke and partially not. But I'm people, really worried about people you. were commenting. <laughs> some some of my friends and whoever were commenting like, "Man, marketing works on Christy, right?" Because um, it's a health drink. It's a health drink. It's not, and we all know that it has <laughs> biotin in it. <laughs> it's good for your hunger. <laughs> It makes you lose fat. It makes you just a better person. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I mean, at face value, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I saw that, I was like, "Wow, it is a healthier energy drink." <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is pink. I have to have it. So yeah. marketing works for all kinds of reasons, and humor is one of the reasons. Yeah, and it definitely works on me. But me it, too. Yeah. But like, but like, why? That's what we're gonna talk about. Yeah. And done the right way. Yes, because it can go horribly wrong, mm-hmm. and we're going to talk about that too. Mm-hmm. We thought it would be fun to talk about examples that we both like. Mm-hmm. Um, there was one campaign. I don't know how many people have seen it. It's been everywhere. But um, Bounce Fabric Softener Sheets, mm-hmm. they have this campaign. And the first time I heard it, I just about died because I was like, this is brilliant. The tagline is, it's the sheet. Yes. It's genius. <laughs> like, it is so spot on and hilarious. Right. And the reason why it's so good is it's just relatable. Mm-hmm. It's taking something like most people in this in the world think profanity is funny or right. they use it every day. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a common part of language for a lot of people. And so basing your tagline on something that it's instantly going to just make you smirk because you're like, oh, my God, they went right to the line. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But it's working. They are. They literally are bounce sheets. Right. So it's like we're not saying it. They're not saying anything untrue. But it's edgy. It's true. It's edgy. It's clever. It's just edgy. It's just edgy enough. Right. It's just enough. and. It's something that most people are just going to be like, oh, that's, that's funny. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's that kind of play on words that I think just sparks everybody's imagination. Mm -hmm. And there's just an immediate response to it Mm -hmm. because you immediately get what they're trying to say. Right. What they're connecting to. Yeah. And, you know, just about everybody has used that phrase. Mm -hmm. So it it works really well. Yeah. And and they're not like they're not saying anything. They have not said anything. Right. They have not said any profanity. They haven't said anything hurtful. Right. And they have not said anything that hurts. It just anyone. creates a mental bridge mm-hmm. and yeah. it's just really clever. It's such a good example of when marketing gets humor right. Right. Yeah. You had one, too, that so you liked. So the other one that's actually very similar is the Kmart one, the commercial, that is that we sh- we ship your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everyone, all the families, and, like, the, even the grandmas. And I haven't seen it in a while, but it's yeah. all, like, we can ship your pants. We ship pants. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's the same thing. It's, their, like, yeah. it's, it's just, like, we're not saying it. You're saying it. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It walks that line. And But you remember... That they do shipping. Right. So it puts it, it's like, you, you, I, every, I'll permanent, permanently remember now that Kmart does shipping. Right. And like, I'll remember bounce sheets if I think of fabric softener. Right. That they have. Right. That they have the fabric sheets. Right. And so it's just this little, it's this little, um, what's the word I want? It puts it in your head. It makes you remember, um. So it, it forces you to remember, mm. and at the same time, it's just this cute little quirky, Yeah. but again, not hurting anyone. It's clever, but it's marketing at right. the same time, yep. and it 
puts your product in people's brains and makes it stick. Now, to be fair, there might be that, that small part of your audience that is like, that's inappropriate. Right. Don't like right. that. That's swearing. That's profanity. I yeah. know what they mean by that. You are, you know, you are, I mean, there's going to be risk with anything like that. Right. It's probably going to be smaller than the bigger part of your audience that's going to be like right. either just like whatever or the bigger part that's like that's silly that's funny right some people are going to roll their eyes and be mm -hmm. like okay right dad joke dad joke you right. know yeah and then other people the majority of people would probably be like wow okay that's clever right and really listen mm -hmm. and remember yeah about the product um and it'll be successful for them. And then there, there'll be that smaller audience where they'll just be like, e, do we have to go there? Do we have to? Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe it's not the kind of marketing we would do um, or everybody would do. Like, it's not something you can do with any yeah. kind of product or client. Um, but we wanted to highlight it because it, it's just clever it's an example of clever marketing of using humor in a way that connects with a very specific audience they went after a very specific audience mm -hmm. with these mm -hmm. you can tell that they are maybe trying to speak to that younger demographic yeah and it but it's also like everyone you know you know universally everybody finds humor funny like it right. can re you know and so and in inappropriateness even if you're not a fan of being inappropriate you can still appreciate this is the humor this is popping into my mind oh like in this moment it's making me think of anytime I go to my mother's house for like this was last year or whatever she'd be like have you seen the poop commercial <laughs> And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? And she was talking about it for like a month, about this commercial about women being like, I, I poop or something. And it was for like a probiotic. And it was just this very goofy commercial about women all being like, and I poop too. <laughs> Like, I don't remember it's that. It's all of these like proud pooping women. Nice. And my mom was so shocked by it. But also thought that it was so funny that she permanently now remembers that probiotic mm. or something. So it still worked. <laughs> so, it was still effective. And my market. mom also is does not like inappropriate things. Yes. Zero percent. Yeah. She doesn't think like pooping is funny. There's some things you just don't talk about. Like she's from that generation yeah. of like inappropriate things are not funny but yeah. this commercial where like people were they were all like in the commercial like sitting on the toilet being like i poop too wow and she was like it's so funny christy she couldn't stop talking about this commercial. and i'm like yes you've told me about this commercial so many times i don't care <laughs> and then she'd like she'd be like oh my gosh everyone shut up the pooping commercials on <laughs> I'm like, Mom. wow if it's funny or dumb enough, like, <laughs> right. it sticks with people. Right. Even people, you know, who don't normally find dumb, inappropriate things like that funny. Yeah. She'll always remember that probiotic now. So if you have clients that you're marketing for um, and there is room for humor, I think some of the key things you have to remember is what audience you're speaking to mm -hmm. very specifically. Yes. I mean, that's true across with any marketing, but you have to be especially careful with humor. I know that we, we have had occasions in the past with a couple different clients that we've had um, where they were like, oh yeah, let's do something funny. And they tried to inject humor. They, yeah. they threw some ideas at us and we were like, mm, yeah. ooh, no, 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 we can't, that could go wrong. So you have to think about how it'll land like yeah if it lands well right great but you really have to be devil's advocate and think about okay flip side how could this land wrong who could be hurt who by could it? be offended by yeah. it are we going to be um totally isolating a complete subset of our audience, if we pursue this, mm -hmm. like, are we going to be um, needlessly offensive right. or, or needlessly right. offending anybody? Yeah. 
Um, so there's just so many things you have to consider with humor. You can't mm -hmm. just take an idea and be like, oh, that's clever. Yeah, it probably is. But if it's not going to, if you sit with it and debate it with your team, which should happen, yes, there should definitely be extra meetings whenever you decide that you're going to take a humorous approach Something to anything. Something risky. Anything, hum even if it seems like a safe type of humor. Yeah. Like maybe we're not saying it's the sheet or I'm going to ship, yeah. they can ship my pants. Right. You know, if we're not saying something that close to the line, mm -hmm. um, you still have to be so careful and extra meetings, really sit with it, think about mm -hmm. it, um, ask everybody on your team, have everybody thinking about it. Looking at, um, could there be legal ramifications if we take this too far? Yeah, yeah. Are we going to lose a core part of the business for this client yes. if we go in this direction? Yes. Um, are we going to completely undermine the loyalty that we have from, mm -hmm. you know, that this client has built up over time? Like, yeah. could this just yeah. Yeah. take them yeah. Take them down. So yeah. you have to really, really, really be careful and think about it mm -hmm. and consider all those things. Yeah. Because there there are plenty of examples of attempts yeah. by even big companies to use humor and it just bombed. Yeah. So one of them that I wanted to talk about was um Burger King in the UK. Mm. And I feel like everyone will know this. Mm -hmm. If you don't, where have you been? <laughs> uh, and I think it was on Women's Day. Was it last year? Mm -hmm. uh, women belong in the kitchen. Mm. Tweet on Women's Day. Yikes. Hashtag Just yikes. saying it. You know, and you have to wonder what that round table was like when someone who, threw that out. Who was like, <laughs> send it. Done. <laughs> hit post an idiot probably Oof. um i'm just not so here's my thoughts um so they did this uh to be edgy to definitely definitely because they knew it would go viral mm -hmm. right they knew they knew everyone would have a reaction to this oh yeah and so they put big big risk on this uh to be seen Mm -hmm. Yeah, knowing there would be ramifications for that, mm -hmm. uh, and their purpose was for a scholarship women uh, program for women. Okay, kudos to you for college culinary program or something. Yeah, um, to get women working in kitchens, like women belong in the kitchen working. Thanks, Burger King. Um, did you think about? The millions of women, every woman, in fact, who has not heard their whole life, that they should get back in the kitchen. And also coming out, I don't know how the timing lined up, but like women's rights were being debated yeah. in government yeah. in this country. And so, you know, not in the UK, but worldwide, there was a lot of like things happening for women mm. that weren't so great. And that many looked at it as it's setting us back, you know, putting us back in the Stone Age or whatever, yeah. you know. So to have that phrase trotted out <laughs> at the same time. It's just it makes a mockery of, you know, what women have always heard their whole life anyway. Mm. You know, it's a, it's an easy joke that, you know. It can be made against women all the yeah. time. And um, it's just, it, it, it didn't land. It, it could have. I, I feel like maybe there was some potential there. But I don't think it was really thought through enough. Mm -hmm. Because there's, like we were saying, you know, you have to think about how it's going to hit and are you going to upset a huge part of your... Most of the population right. of the world, probably. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Do you really want to, you know, upset all of your female customers? 
you know, and specifically target them as you belong in the kitchen. So we're going to give you a culinary scholarship so you can stay there. I mean, granted, they probably thought they were encouraging women to work in the culinary field. And here we're providing an opportunity for you. We, we support women in the kitchen, Mm -hmm. but it wasn't using a phrase that was always derogatory. Correct. Always. Correct. There's never been a good version of that right. phrase. Yeah. So using it to try to spin something positive that you're doing, mm-hmm. it was never going to fly. It didn't work. It was never going to work, work. Because you can't take a negative, really anti-feminine. <laughs> It, you know, you yeah. can't you can't take something that's derogatory mm-hmm. to a specific group of people and then be like, and we're going to use that as the slogan mm-hmm. to be positive. It's wild to no. me. No. Fully wild no. to me that, that, that I, 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 you know, a board sat down and talked about it and we're like, yep, do it. I would be curious to know if there were women on that board. Uh, same. They're... Like, were there? <laughs> I mean, maybe some felt that um, we are far enough progressed as a society to be more than that phrase, which, you know, and, and thought they could take well, and that's take what, ownership that's of what it comes and change back, it. That's what always comes back in your face, right? Like, yeah. well, can't you could take a joke? Yeah. You sure can, of <laughs> course. Do you, but do you think that we've not been the butt of that joke forever? For yeah, for decades. And it's yeah. just like, no, not this yeah. time. Like, not again, on, on on Women's Day and using it in a way, like, you're offering this nice program for women to, you know, to be able to have an opportunity at this culinary scholarship that's fantastic and you could have made a really beautiful um opportunity for women Mm. to like you could have promoted yourselves in, in such a nice way and instead in order to go viral you led with something really like you said derogatory Mm to get a lot of attention and it it just didn't it yeah. didn't get the attention that you were hoping for at the expense of hurting a lot of people. Right. You can't you can't take that stance and then be like, "Huh. Well, that didn't go the way we thought." And it's not <laughs> you know? it's not because women can't take the joke. Like you no, you better believe like, women have had to have tough skin with comments oh, like that yeah. our whole lives. That's not it, but it's just kind of like you're not going to get what you want out of that. No. And so, you know, circling back to making jokes in marketing, it's kind of like when you want to do that, you have to think, will this humor hurt a subset of people and then ultimately hurt my brand in the process? Right, because they did some major backtracking to Mm -hmm. try to, Mm -hmm. you know, save face with that whole campaign and ultimately lost money yeah lost customer base yeah and there's one thing to take a risk and to take a calculated risk Mm -hmm. and when you are trying something new there's always a risk that Mm -hmm. it's going to fail or that you're going to you're not going to make money from it you're going to that's part of marketing it not everything is going to be a win but you can hedge your bets a lot better than that yeah you know and um there could have been a humorous way to incorporate Um, something about women working in a kitchen there there could have been yeah like I said before there's potential there for there to be some smart wordplay yeah but not using a phrase that's so derogatory and is gonna just smack women in the face Mm -hmm. and be like really this is where we're at yeah in 2023 or you know Um, so, and and trying to take a derogatory statement and spin it as something different than what it is, Mm -hmm. that's so hard to get right. Yeah. It's not that it can't be done, but it just did not work in this instance. Yeah. So. And so my takeaway (laughs) Mm. 
is uh, think, discuss more before you post. Mm. Um, and and like you asked, like I wonder if there were women in on that conversation. If they were, they failed. <laughs> <laughs> they failed. Um, and I would say uh, get 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 a larger, different group in. And uh, I'm just like we ask. I, in in here we we tend to ask each other like what do you think of this what do you think of that can you read this can you like i don't know when we we were working with a client that they wanted to inject some humor and it was about women yeah and mo- particularly moms yes. working yes. in the, in an off corporate setting mm-hmm. or in an office and i i think if i'm remembering right with that client we ended up scrapping the whole thing yeah the whole humor angle because the humor angle it was too we, difficult with that campaign. It was too. It wasn't good timing for the company either. They weren't. I, I feel like companies like Burger King, they're a bigger corporation. Mm-hmm. They're huge, mm-hmm. millions, do- probably billions of dollars. I don't keep up with how much these corporations are making yeah. or have, but you know, they're marketing. They have a lot of money to throw at it, yeah. and they also are so big that they can take bigger chances like if they lose millions yeah it sucks but you know it might not be as big of a bite out of their bottom line as it would be for a smaller company and so um this client of ours that wanted to inject some humor and specifically um speaking to women and about women they were you know just starting out and we we're like, this is not a territory you want to wander into when you're still trying to establish who you are mm-hmm. um, and be taken seriously. Yeah. And like, let's look at this. So let's, timing. Let's pack it up for yeah. now. And then, you know, in the future, when you've got a little more stability and a little more yeah. revenue, yeah. Um, then let's look at introducing humor into marketing. Yeah, so I think you just have to be extra careful Yeah, because you don't have the resources mm-hmm. or the um, the finance the financial backing and the just the presence I think to take those kind of chances when yeah. you're just starting out yeah so I think as a marketer you have to be aware of that sometimes you have to steer your client in a different direction if they're like we want to be funny and Not always, like with some, it it depends on the industry that they're in. It Mm -hmm. depends on the vibe of their business, you know, like some people, they're all about humor and then you can just run with it. Mm -hmm. And if Mm -hmm. they're known for that, Mm -hmm. um, I really love, I just ordered a product from Oat House. Mm -hmm. It's a company I hadn't heard of before, but I happened to like see their ad and they make granola butter. Okay. And after I ordered, I got an email from the owner of the company and it was so funny. And I want to find it because I thought it was so great. I'm like, this is how you let people know your personality and use humor, but you're not, you know, uh, let me find it. You're making me think of one that I also Okay. Saw on a website and wanted to read if I can find it. Okay. So it started here. Here's the, and I'm sure it's automatically generated to everybody who, um, you know, orders from this company. Um, especially if you're like a first time purchaser. Mm-hmm. This and is your email that you got back. Yeah. This is the email I got after I placed my order with Oat House. It says, welcome to the house party housemates. We're so excited you're here. First things first who the heck are you? Reply to this email, letting us know a little bit about yourself. Who am I? And then she says, I'm the founder of Oat House. Um, It's my mission to bring the fun back into eating. And the whole thing, what to expect. Over the next week, I'm going to share ups and downs of our journey. Each email will be an episode like a little reality show. I promise it'll be anything but boring. Hmm. And keep the party going by following us on Instagram and TikTok. That's nice. You know, and then she's like, email me directly if you have any concerns, feedback, questions. And grateful you're here. I appreciate you. XO. And then she signs off. 
And I'm like, that is such a great way to inject humor into mm-hmm. your interaction with your with your audience, you know, and finding you don't have to be like in your face yeah. when you're using humor in marketing. You can inject your persona or your personality into these interactions that you have with your audience, mm-hmm. um, whether it's in an automated email situation or in your direct ads. Yeah, you can, you know, use humor there, but it's not your only opportunity right. to use it. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of flavor all of your interactions with your audience with humor, just in little touches. And it's still successful. Like that made me smile. Yeah. I was like, this is great. I really, really want to support this company. Like, I really hope I like their product. I haven't gotten it yet, mm-hmm. but I really hope that we love it and that this is going to be someone we order from regularly because I love the owner's personality. Yeah. I love that that is how they're interacting with me. Yeah, a real person. It's funny. Mm-hmm. It's real. Mm-hmm. And so I think if that is your personality, if it's humorous, yeah. let it show. Yeah. But do it in a respectful yeah. um in a respectful way, that's not going to really turn off anybody. Mm-hmm. Like there's a right and a wrong way to do it. And I just, I thought that was just a neat, it, it's another aspect of having humor yeah. in your marketing. Yeah. This is so. one, um, this is one that I saw on um, when I was going to unsubscribe from something. Mm-hmm. And it says, hello, Christy. Every time someone unsubscribes, a member of the Hawkers team jumps out of the window. (laughs) It doesn't happen often, and the team is relatively large, so it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it kind of puts a downer on the day. Anyway, at least tell us why Karen has has just cleared out her desk and given her cactus to Janet from finance. Then it says, a a box to answer, do you want Karen to jump out of the window? No or yes. And I'm like, that is brilliant. I absolutely love that. Who is that again? Hawkers. Hawkers. So like that works. Yeah. Even though it's pretty morbid. So and I dark. don't like, do I want Karen to jump out of the window? Of course not. I a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, no. So like anyway, as a unsubscribe thing, I'm like. I have never forgotten this. I have had mm-hmm. it screenshotted. I can't get it out of my phone now. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. Anyway, perfect example of humor, and it's pretty good. So, and that one walks. I mean, again, just like the bounce sheet campaign, like someone could be super offended by that unsubscribe message and be like, "How dare you make a joke out of people mm-hmm. jumping out windows?" True. You know, and like. Yeah, but it's very obvious that they're not serious. It's done in a way that it's just cheeky. And it's a very clear, we're trying to pull on your heartstrings to keep you from leaving us. It's just goofy. And that someone would put that much effort into an unsubscribe message. I've never seen that. It's just so goofy. And that and someone so would just go there with it. It's it works. It's, it's so funny. funny. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, these are just some good, like good examples, a bad example. Ultimately, it's always a little bit of a risk when you want to be funny in your marketing, but um just be calculated yeah. in be your calculated. risks. Be calculated. And definitely always ask, I think, a lot of people, is this a hit or a miss? Get your whole team involved. Get your team involved. Are we going to hurt anybody with this? And test it out. Yeah. Test it out on, like, when we were working, when we've worked with clients trying to incorporate humor before, I would go home, test it out on my husband, and run it by him. He's wickedly funny and very dark. So I'd be like, what do you think of this? And he'd be like, if he was like, ugh, a little too far, that was saying a lot. Mm -hmm. Um. And, you know, test it out with friends. What do you think of this? And kind of get a consensus and a feel for it. You have to think about your client. Is Mm -hmm. this the right client to 
use humor mm -hmm. in our marketing? Mm -hmm. um, is it the right audience? Mm -hmm. Do you have to be so specific yeah. and know exactly who your audience is, yeah. what they'll tolerate right. and what they won't. Yeah. So, and also think about your timing. Are you making a women's joke on Women's Day? Right, yeah. You know, that could land really bad. Yeah. Might want to rethink that. Yeah. Um, and think about not just using, if it is a client where the audience right is right, the client is right, um, think about where in your marketing you can incorporate humor in a big way or also in little ways, mm -hmm. like you in your uh, automated email responses. Yeah. Uh, unsubscribe messages, um, maybe empty cart yeah. messaging, you know, any abandoned cart messaging um, and any kind of follow-up, not just think, think beyond just using a slogan on an ad or, um, you know, it can be more than a tweet or a social post or a display ad. Mm -hmm. Like think about where else you could incorporate humor. Yeah. But I think if you can remember all of those things and think about all of those things, you can avoid and if the, you a disaster and, and if you can you have success. Then don't. <laughs> right. If you can't do it, <laughs> then just don't. Don't. Period. Exactly. Yeah. Know when to say no. Yeah. And yeah. That's always good. Yeah. But always say yes. To being extra. Say yes to extra. Say yes to extra. Say yes to the free dive podcast. Yes. Always say yes to we've us. Had, it's an easy yes. Yeah, we've had a great response so far, and I just want to thank everybody for their support. I would love to hear from people. Yeah. Like, DM us. We've had Leave some. Leave us some messages. Like, is th has there been a campaign, a humor campaign, mm. that you have seen that you thought was especially successful or that really caught your attention and that you can't get out of your brain? Yeah. I would love to hear from people. Like, Or on the flip side, has there been one where that totally bombed for you mm -hmm. that you were like, I cannot believe that that got through and that this is how this is being marketed to me? Yeah. So, so let us know. Yeah. And keep showing us, showing up. We'll keep showing up. And dressing up. And dressing up. So thanks <laughs> for being here. And we'll see you next time. It's the end. No, it's not. It's There's more. There's always more. Don't be sad. You can catch our full video interviews on our YouTube channel. Come find us. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends so that we're not sad. And follow us on TikTok. And Instagram. It'll make your day happier, promise. And we'll know if you do it. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>